Well, hey, everybody. It is Monday, September 9th. We are a day away from the presidential debate between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris, but this is a non-political channel, so I'm not going to mention it again. I just want to talk about two salty snacks today. Um, let's start with the one that's less likely to be uh, spicy. Um, these are Harvest Snaps, the Hot and Spicy Baked Red Lentil Snacks by Crunchy Loops. Okay, or wait, it's the, no, the company's Harvest Snaps. Uh, crunchy loops are the name of the snack itself and they are supposed to be hot and spicy all right I'm always skeptical of these uh, these uh, supposedly spicy salty products especially when they're made of vegetables I just don't I don't, I'm, I'm expecting extremely minimal spice but the ingredients are red lentils rice vegetable oil hot and spicy seasoning which is sugar, salt, maltodextrin, onion powder, spice containing mustard and coloring, beet powder, natural flavors, chili pepper, yeast extract, garlic powder, extract of annatto, paprika color, calcium carbonate, rosemary extract for freshness, and nat natural, nat natural extratives. Wow, should I just read this entire video? What a fail of a take. Nat natural extractives of chili peppers. All right, somehow my ability to read is slipping away from me. I don't know what that's all about. Even more embarrassing, because I disclosed in a recent video that I'm an English teacher. All right, here we go. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to give it a little bit more time. Okay. Let's get the negative stuff out of the way first. Not spicy. Maybe a 1.5. If you ate the whole bag really quickly. But a uh, spice aficionado will not be impressed with the spice level of this. However, shockingly good. Shockingly good. That's an excellent snack. And remember, a few, a few videos ago, I tried those uh, the Funyuns that were supposed to taste like uh, Maruchan uh, spicy chicken ramen. They were not spicy. They were not flavorful. These aren't spicy, but these kind of taste like what those should have. And actually, I'm starting to feel a little bit of spice building up in my mouth. So maybe they're maybe they're all they're not not only spicy, uh, you know, more flavorful, but maybe they're also spicier than those Funyuns. These are actually really good. You know, I thought, you know, oh, made of vegetable matter, they're going to be a lot less exciting than your normal, like, greasy potato chip. No. This is a baked, crunchy, vegetable-based uh, spicy snack that has a little bit of spice to it and a lot of flavor. There's a, a smoky sweetness to, in there, in addition to the sort of, like, tangy, piquant, hot and spiciness, that really, really works nicely. Not too salty. Um, just a really nice... Uh, Really nice kind of bold uh, flavor on that. I give that an 8. Wow, I'm shocked. Those are really, really good. Those are really, really good. I showed these to a couple people that, you know, after I purchased them, and they were like, oh, those are going to suck. These are way, way beyond. Way better than those uh, those ramen Funyuns. Way better. Oh, that was a big surprise. Okay, well, that was just a precursor to talking about this. I don't think that these are commercially available in most places anymore, but um, my cousin Jonathan, who uh, works as a mover up in Seattle, he found them at some uh, convenience store up there in the city. Got himself a bag, got me a bag. I have tried these, but the last time I ate these was about two years ago, and I remember being underwhelmed by the spice. But I've, I've watched some reviews of it, and, you know, Chiliheads seem to think that this is, like, the ultimate commercially available, you know, just, like, readily available at you know, convenience stores and such uh, snack. Now the one chip challenge is gone. They seem to think this is the spiciest one. I don't know. We'll have to see. I mean, part of the reason that I was maybe underwhelmed by them is because, you know, my son was eating all different kinds of, like, flaming hot stuff, and, you know, I was eating them with him, and I just, uh, I don't know, I... I was never impressed with the heat level on any of that stuff. And then I was like, oh, this is going to be worlds beyond. And I just don't remember it being that much spicier. So, 
but it sure advertised itself as that. Look, it's telling us, it's announcing that it's freaking hot, okay? Freaking hot chips. They do have uh, ghost pepper. Uh, uh, ghost pepper, let's see. So there's ground corn, canola oil, salt, ghost pepper, potato starch, cayenne pepper, chipotle pepper powder, cane sugar, and then blah, 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 and boring, not spicy stuff, and chili pepper. All right, so it's got chipotle powder, it's got ghost pepper, it's got cayenne pepper. In it. So it's got three different spicy things in it. Let's give it another try. Now maybe the bag that I tried before was just like a wheat bag or something. Did you get that sometimes? You get that sometimes with Doritos, where you'll buy like, um, you buy a bag of, like a bag of Doritos, and for some reason, like ev almost every chip in there is like inadequately seasoned and flavorless. That has happened before. Maybe it happened with this. There seems to be a lot of powder on there. Look at that. First impression, salty, real salty. Even if the spice does build up to something that's more harsh than the harshest of the flaming hot chips, which I think I do feel that happening. Um, I'm not crazy about the flavor of these because I just don't like that much salt in my chips. Um, yeah. Now that I've eaten a few of these, and the spice is starting to build up, I was wrong. These are way hotter than your hotter, hottest flaming hots. This is at least a three. It might be getting higher than that. Let's see if it's going to climb anymore. I don't think it is. <clears throat> it seems to have um, peaked and plateaued. Um, there's a t tiniest tingle of a little burn in my throat. Um, it's really the roof and the bottom of my mouth that are burning right now. Really nothing going on with the tongue. Just roof and bottom of mouth. It's about a three for heat, which is, uh, that's a really impressive for a salty snack. I can't remember the last time that I tried any spicy salty snack that was, you know, anywhere above a two. So that's at least a three. I had five chips. The burns peaked. It's dying down now. It's a nice, good, and it's it's got the ghost pepper burn that I like. All right, so it's not a fiery burn. It's not a stinging burn. It's not an unpleasant burn. It's not setting your whole mouth on fire. It's just kind of, you know, it's the ghosty burn. Anyways, my problem with that chip has nothing to do with uh, the heat level. That's good for, for a spicy chip that's available over the counter. Hopefully it will, you know, be available at more than just obscure convenience stores in Seattle. I'd like to find them in Tacoma again. <clears throat> Very respectable spice level for that. More than you can expect from almost any other, like any Flaming Hot product or any other spicy chip. That's not the issue. It just doesn't taste that good to me. It's too salty. Um, and other than salt, I'm just not tasting much else in there. There's just salt and then there's heat. I'm not really tasting ghost pepper. So I have to give the uh, flavor level, unfortunately, a five. And I say unfortunately because one of my favorite chips ever are the uh, the, the um, Salsa Verde um, pa pa chips by pa Paqui. They're the only Salsa Verde chip out there that's better than Doritos. And Doritos used to be like, Salsa Verde used to be, in my opinion, the best chip in the world. And then it was dethroned by Paqui's version of Salsa Verde chips. So it's too bad that they couldn't make something equally delicious with this. But they did succeed with the spice element. It's hot. So get them if you can find them.